Hey, my name is Justin Case, and I don't know about you, but I've been watching my rewards continue to drop at a fast pace. Doesn't happen usually on the weekend. From Saturday, Sunday, Monday, things look okay, and then boom. So just like yesterday, I noticed that I went down uh, by about 4,000 um, helium rewards. Uh, 4,000 is a lot. Usually I can I accept about 1,000 every day, but 4,000, that's, that's a huge hit. So uh, why is this happening? Well, first of all, it doesn't usually happen over the weekend because uh, some CBRSs uh, don't get approved to get online. So it usually takes until Monday or Tuesday before they get approved. But even so, if you look here, in the past seven days, only 106 have come online. So not as many as there used to be. Whereas when it comes to Wi-Fi radios, we're looking at 511 that came online in the past seven days. So rewards are going to continue to drop as more hotspots come online, which, you know, on the long run is a good thing, provided people are putting these hotspots in a place where they can provide use to the network, transferring data. Now, this brings me to boosted locations. And boosted locations, once things change, are gonna really drop our rewards, but will also be incredibly profitable for those people who are able to make use of them. So let's talk about it right now, but before I do, I just wanna tell you, please do like this video and subscribe to my channel if you wanna get more content like this. So let's look at boosted locations. Now, back in October, I saw this blog post by Mobile where it talked about deploying in boosted locations, strengthening the network, earn extra rewards, and it kind of broke down how they're mainly focused right now doing this in uh, Miami. Uh, for many of you who don't know, uh, Miami is where they're currently offering the subscription plan at $5 a month. So for $5 a month, you get unlimited data. Uh, you're, you should have good network coverage in downtown locations, uh, which you know is Miami. And uh, in order to try to make this truly achievable, they of course wanna offload data from T-Mobile, which is currently what does the bulk of the transfer out there, over to, um, well, people like you and me who have indoor, outdoor Wi-Fi hotspots, as well as CBRSs. Um, and you can go in and it's gonna show you some specific locations here. Uh, for example, uh, Here's a mall, and this mall is giving a boosted level of 100. Now, not all do. Uh, if we just turn off the signal strength for a second and take a look at the area, we can see that some places uh, give less than others. Uh, let's, let's go downtown. Here, here we go. Uh, if I look at this park, for example, this Bayfront Park, as you can see, the boosted level is only 10x. So it's not equal everywhere. Uh, 10x, probably not that great, not worth it. Uh, let's check this park right here. This park is also 10x. Okay, let's try something that's maybe a little more useful to the network. Okay, the Miami Beach Convention Center, that is 30x. Uh, what is this strip down here? Maybe this strip is more interesting. Lincoln Road, 100x so deployment right there uh, across their 104 boosted hexes would make you a lot more if you were before getting 2,000 in a hex you know you'd be getting 200,000 in a hex now I don't really think anybody's getting 2,000 in a hex these days more like 500 in a hex right but that still then goes from 500 to 50,000 right big difference worth considering and when I actually turn on this signal strength, I can see some people are trying. Uh, it looks like this guy right here is doing okay, uh, but it is low. It's a low connection for that CBRS. And low means at like 10% of what you would get, not the 50% of medium or 100% for the high. So uh, people are trying, not necessarily achieving. Oh, I got to look at this one right here too. Okay, and this is interesting. Uh, looks like to help make this happen, they have uh, Wi-Fi um, 
indoor Wi-Fi's uh, in possibly maybe a lot of different stores. Not really sure how they chose to do this. Looks like there's been 12 days of coverage. Uh, still not making a lot, only 86 cents a day. So why, why, why is that? And that comes down to that question. Why, what are we doing wrong if we're not seeing the rewards we're expecting? Uh, if the rewards say it's going to be 100 of this amount and we're only seeing 298, I do have to go maybe and check, uh, check this particular um, hotspot and see if maybe there's information I am not seeing on the coverage planner here. Um, but more importantly, we should check the HIP and the specific regulations of that HIP. So boosting was allowed as part of HIP 84. And of course, it was to find these specific areas uh, where uh, it would be most beneficial to Nova Labs to have hotspots. And I just want to get into the mechanics and pricing and price of boosting hexes. So I'm going to focus on the three, well, the, the, the four bullets here. Um, the first one, the minimum boost time commitment is six months. So there is a reasonable reward for people to invest in creating a coverage for a given hex location. And then service providers can extend the boost in one month increments following the six month expiration uh, by burning additional mobile into the hexes. Okay, so... So basically, you got six months, and then possibly if Nova Labs decides they want to push for more, uh, they can increase it by one month increments. All right. Once the service provider burns mobile into a hex, it remains boosted indefinitely until some coverage is created in the hex location. Okay. So that means the boosted locations are always going to remain boosted until someone actually provides coverage there and so none of those boosted areas in Miami are going to go away until coverage is put there. After it's put there you got six months. Creation of coverage will be considered to have been confirmed when at least three unique phones with discovery mapping enabled has successfully connected and passed at least one megabyte of data at the location of coverage. Okay so then going back it's possible that three phones have not verified any of these. And even if they did, though, there's three. So one's going to get 100%, one's going to get 75%, and one's going to get like 25% of the rewards. Granted, those rewards are boosted by 100, but when I clicked on any of these, I'm, I'm not seeing the change. So I can only assume if it's been seven days we're still waiting to a phone to transfer at least one megabyte of data or rather sorry three phones to transfer one megabyte of data because it already says here proof of coverage and boost bonus so yeah still not sure what's going on there but I, I'm assuming at this point maybe it's not boosted it's really confusing and if anybody knows why uh, I, I would I would love for you to let me know in the comments. But my only guess is uh, it's it's not boosted yet because uh, again it hasn't passed at least one megabyte of data uh, in the location of coverage by at least three unique phones. So good to know, right? Um, possibly just people walking by. It's not going to happen. It's somebody who's actually sitting maybe at a restaurant or somewhere else and is able to transfer enough data right there. Um, we propose, and it talks about pricing. I'm not sure what this 0 0.005 cents means, uh, but I noted that it does talk about coverage of a 436H, which would make the most sense, except that CBRSs right now cannot transfer data. So that may be the reason why most of these hexes that I'm seeing uh, aren't making anything because at the end of the day, uh, for example, with, um, sorry, got to close that up. For example, with uh, this CBRS radio right here, um, it can't transfer data right now. So it can't uh, get any of those rewards, at least not until the end of 
March. So hopefully, as many of you have heard, um, in the end of March, <coughs> they will have the new SIMs available to do transfer of uh, data on CBRSs. And uh, if they can, and somebody goes by three of them, unique three different ones, and transfer one megabyte, then then this guy right here who's making uh, still pretty good amount, uh, 160000 uh a day, uh, that's, that's more than me, uh, will be earning a lot more. Actually, considering the amount of hexes he's covering, only 256, yeah, he's, he is getting a boost. Okay, so wait, am I wrong? Uh, are they able to get boosts this way? 20, 27 boosted hexes covered. So now I'm confused. If they if he's getting it with boosted hexes covered, and you know that being said, uh, you know their coverage is fairly uh, low. I'm guessing. Let me let me just turn the signal strength off. No, no, no. He's covering that whole area right here. Okay. Um, then I don't know why those other devices are not. But again, he's been covering it for two months. Um, it's possible that uh, he had it covered before data transfers were shut off. That's completely possible. Um, in which case, yeah, he's good to go. So great for a short denim mole. So uh, again, the question remains, is, is this worth doing? I mean, yeah, I'd say, yeah, it's worth doing. Um, but uh, are you going to be able to actually get uh, the boosted uh, boosted rewards? Um, this guy, like I said, has been doing it for two months, but I don't know if other people are able. So I would love for people to let me know in the comments. I'm very curious who has been able to get boosted rewards and who hasn't. Uh, I am, as you can see right now, just searching for other examples out there. Uh, just to see if people are getting that boosted coverage. Here we go. Here's another one. Okay, there's a Wi-Fi outdoor boosted hex coverage of five. But again, 21 cents. That's weird, right? So I don't know. I'm I'm looking at Wi-Fi radios, and I'm not I'm not seeing a a positive result here so i'd really like to know what people think about this um do they think that maybe it's just for whatever reason um cbrs is the way to go because i i don't see this boost bonus really working for uh indoor wi-fi radios or even outdoor i mean 33 hexes covered five of them being boosted and they're still only making 21 cents here where uh, that other one that we were just looking at, and I, I got to go find him again. I think he was up here, right? Mm, no, that wasn't it. Oh, right here. Okay. So, but here, that CBRS is, is doing great. I mean, as I just pointed out, with 75 boosted hexes covered, he's making uh, over 160000 uh mobile rewards which is 463 dollars so um my advice is if you have a cbrs and this guy is uh as far as i'm aware uh, can i go back just an outdoor cbrs radio it doesn't have any details on it but uh, looking at the coverage area i mean i'm guessing he might just be using a 430 if you have a 430 and can head down to uh miami Maybe it's worth it. Please do let me know what you think in the comments. I'd really like to hear your opinions on this. And hey, thanks for watching and have a happy Valentine's Day.